Yo, so what is up my broskies? My name is Lupus, and today I have a really interesting topic to talk to you guys about. But before I get on to that, I would like to address the gameplay. The gameplay is a pretty decent gameplay on Modifier 2. Not great, not terrible. The game didn't last as long as I would hope, so I didn't really get as many kills as I would hope. And I was kind of rusty on Modern Warfare 2. I haven't played it in a while. But I wanted to get a gameplay on this for a reason, and you guys will find out during the commentary. But let's go ahead and talk about what the topic is. The topic today is going to be about Call of Duty Ghosts and what I think is going to happen to Call of Duty in the future and what I think will happen with Titanfall. So let's go ahead and start with the Call of Duty, what I think will happen with Call of Duty Ghosts. I think after being disappointed by what they showed us, I think Call of Duty Ghosts is going to be an impressive game for Call of Duty players. I don't think it's going to be garbage, but I do think it is going to be... Not, I don't think it's going to be enough. I think people are going, the, the new, the Call of Duty players are going to like it for a little bit. They're going to play it for a couple months and then be like, this is awful. And then they're going to buy Titanfall. I think that that's that's one of the things about Respawn Entertainment. They are making the game, they're releasing it in spring around the time that all the people will get bored of Call of Duty. It makes sense. They're going to make Titanfall so that when all the people on Xbox get bored of, uh, of get bored of, Call of Duty Ghosts, they're going to buy Titanfall. And then that, that is that is a really good marketing item right there because they are going to successfully do what they are trying to do. And I want to explain what I think is going to happen. Everybody knows that Battlefield and Call of Duty have been competitors for years, but the difference is that you cannot Battlefield cannot successfully get Call of Duty out of there. They cannot beat Call of Duty to where it is no longer being made because they are completely different games. The Call of Duty style shooting is more of a fast paced corridor shooting and Battlefield is more of a strategic uh, friend based player squad based type shooter and both of them have their things that people like both of them have their things that people dislike and that is one thing that is going to that they that is going to be a problem which is why Battlefield could never really get rid of Call of Duty on its own not everybody who plays Call of Duty is going to go play Battlefield because they, it's not the same type of shooter. That is where Titanfall comes in. Titanfall is a new game, also made by EA, just like Battlefield, and it is a really, really interesting game. It is going to be one of those fast-paced corridor-style shooters with the addition of mechs and a, lo a lot of really cool animations and, like, basically what it looked like was it was parkour. He was like jumping off sides and stuff, and that is awesome. That is like, I swear, that just made me cream my pants a little bit, guys. But in, in all serious though, guys, it looks really interesting. The graphics are not amazing, but neither are Call of Duties. And the graphics are slightly better than Call of Duties. I say to me, I like the way they look. They're more appealing to me. And the whole entire idea of how they are playing it is awesome. And I think the reason why I have the Modern Warfare 2 gameplay is I think that the original people who made Infinity War, they made the first two Call of Duties, and they made the fourth, and they made the sixth, which is... The Call of Duty 1, Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 4, and Modern Warfare 2. So, those are like some really great games. They were every year, back whenever the original people of Infinity Ward were there, the game made improvements every year. The game improved every single year. Modern Warfare 2 was probably the last time that they actually improved the game. They added awesome new additions to kill streaks where you could customize what you wanted. They added a ton of different things. They had a lot more customization to weapons and everything was just beefed up than it was in Modern Warfare or than it was in World at War. So both of so that game was amazing and ever since then they haven't really done much. Black Ops came out and it kind of went downward. It didn't really improve at all, it kind of went down. Modern Warfare 3 came out, it went back up from Black Ops 2, but it was identical to Modern Warfare 2, so I, they did not improve, really. Black Ops 2 came out, they made some improvements, the graphics were a little bit better, same graphics engine, but it looked better. They also added the Pick 10 system, which was a really good idea, but it was not enough. They, they can't just add small things like that, but not actually make something significant, and that is something that they have, haven't done since they fired the people who made the original Call of Duties. When Modern Warfare 2 was released, they fired all of the guys who worked there. They fired the two top guys, and with them, they fired 36 of the original 48 people who developed and made Call of Duty. So that means only 12 of the original people were left in Infinity Ward, and the rest were all replacements. And we are not seeing Call of Duty being made by the same people anymore. The original, th the 36 that left there have now formed a new company called Respawn Entertainment. So, Respawn Entertainment is making Titanfall, as most of you guys should know. 
and that is basically going to be the next Call of Duty. I think it is going to be a Call of Duty destroyer. I think it is going to destroy Call of Duty. Uh, I don't think it's going to destroy it immediately. I think it is going to be slow and painful for Call of Duty. The past couple years, they haven't really been breaking their record sales like they usually do. In the past, they would break their record sales. Not anymore. Black Ops 2 didn't break any records. It just it, They haven't been able to do it lately. And... I really feel like the reason why was because they fired these really creative people who helped improve the game. And with Titanfall, you're going to get that same close quarters, really fast-paced shooter style that you did in Call of Duty. With more people on the servers, I think I heard that it's going to have more people. I think it's going to be like 24 to 32 people in a server. And then they're adding the addition of mech suits as well as all the extra parkour type type stuff and I think that is what Call of Duty should have done if they wanted to improve the game they could have had mech suits there was nothing against that it could have been a really good idea for Call of Duty to improve the game but they fired all the people who had these amazing ideas and I think that is a really good marketing item for Titanfall whenever all the people are getting bored with Call of Duty in the spring when they're bored of that game Titanfall comes out there you go they'll play it and they'll be like wow this game is so much better because they'll be bored of Call of Duty so they won't be playing it as much and then they'll just be like hey I'm gonna pick this gum I'm gonna pick this game up for the heck of it and they're gonna fall in love with it I, I bet it I believe I believe with my whole heart I don't think that Titanfall is going to be like Medal of Honor Warfighter that is some things that some people have said that it it will be just like Medal of Honor Warfighter a game that looks cool but when it comes out not very good that does not make sense because Danger Close, the makers of Medal of Honor, had only designed one other game before that, and they didn't even design the game in its fullest. They only designed the single player of the first game, and they didn't even use Frostbite. The second game they, was their actual legitimate first game they ever designed, and it was not great. It was good. I liked it. I personally thought it was a really good game, but a lot of people didn't. It didn't get the publicity that I think it deserved. But Titanfall, on the other hand, is being made by Respawn Entertainment, who is the original makers of Call of Duty. They have made... Four, four, yeah, four games of Call of Duty that were amazing, that improved each year. What makes you think they can't make an amazing game? I think that the game is going to be amazing. Honestly, I think that EA is going to be doing something amazing whenever they bring these two games together to compete with Call of Duty. Another thing, real quick, is Activision is buying out Destiny, or they bought out, they bought Destiny, and now they own it, and it is their franchise. I think they know Call of Duty is dying. And I really am interested to see how Destiny turns out if it's going to be the new franchise for Activision. But I hope you guys did like this video. It was very informational. It was just my, me voicing my opinion of what I think is going to happen. I don't think Call of Duty is going to die immediately. I think it might take a couple years. But I think eventually they're going to have to stop making games because they will not be making as much as they were in the past. Either that or nobody will buy them or you know it will gradually become just worse and worse. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to smack that like button that subscribe button. Just with loving guys. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and check out some of my old videos. Thank you guys for watching. For the third or fourth time, peace.